Welcome to ABC Interactive English. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike, and I'm Rainbow. And today we are back with Part C, our third day of talking about streaming services and hanging out with our friends Emmy and Oscar as they enjoy a world of entertainment coming into their homes through their computer. Well, a world of entertainment that was sort of slowly coming. Into their homes because they didn't have enough internet speed. And as much as we love our streaming services, and as wonderful as they are, they do have problems, right? I mean, the internet can, of course, slow down. You can have problems with that, just like we saw with Emmy and Oscar yesterday. I find another problem is sometimes I sit down to watch something. And 20 minutes later, I'm still going through the menu, going, nah, I saw that, nah, I'm not in the mood for that. Sometimes I just can't find something, and it's frustrating because there's so many shows, but maybe not the show that you want to watch. Have you ever had that feeling? Mm, yeah, and then I just turn it off. You just turn it off.、Else. Yeah, well, you've already made the popcorn, and you have your drink there. You're just like, no, there's nothing today for me to watch. <laughs> One of the problems I ran、mm -hmm. into recently、uh -huh. is when I was trying to watch, my、mm -hmm. account kept getting kicked out. Why? So they just logged off. I think it's one of those where there are multiple people allowed to use the same account,、oh, and it was、yeah. one of the instances where I don't know if someone was using too many devices or、mm. what was going on because I don't know the other users of that account. We、mm. happened to be in the same space.、Oh, As I was、no. about to continue to watch. My favorite show.、Mm -hmm. I got kicked off halfway through the show. Oh, that's terrible! In the middle of it, because someone somewhere that I didn't know logged in again. Wow, that's terrible. But、mm. you're right. A lot of these streaming service companies, they're making it harder to share your accounts. They want more people to spend their money and get that monthly service.、Uh, of course, that will make money for the streaming services. So that can be. A problem too. They're wonderful, but they're not always perfect. But here for you guys today, we're going to be having a few little streaming service tips and tricks to make your streaming service time, when it works, much more enjoyable and useful. And maybe good for me. Maybe using some of these tips, I will always find a show that I want to watch.、Ooh. Let's check it out. Part C. Emmy and Oscar are sharing tips. I'm searching and searching, but I can't find a film to watch. Do you know what genre you want? Yes, I'm in the mood for a good horror movie with lots of ghosts. All right. So yes, let's talk streaming services, and Part C is tips. For using a streaming service, anytime I hear someone talking about tips, my ears always perk up. I always start paying attention. More tips. There's like little secret hints, little、yeah. secret information that you can use to make your life easier or to get more out of something like、more. streaming services. Yes. So what does it say there? Emmy and Oscar are sharing tips,、mm. little ideas, little tricks that、oh. make life easier. So they both have a little bit of advice. All right. Well, Emmy kicks、so. it off. I'm searching and searching, but I can't find a film to watch. Hello, Emmy is my sister. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. She's searching and searching, but there's nothing to watch. There's an old song, "57 Channels and Nothing's On."、Aww. It's the same idea. Oh, so searching means you're looking for something. You're looking for something specific.、Mm. You're not just looking in that direction. You know what you want, and maybe you're not finding it, or hopefully you're finding it. But you're searching for it with a purpose because you know what you are looking for. Yeah, you're looking for something, and it's not easy to find. Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't have to no, search. No, no, you don't have to search for a convenience store in the middle of the city, 
But if you're up out in the country on a mountain, you, you might have to search for a Seven Eleven up there for sure. All right, so she's searching, but she just can't find anything. There's no shows that look interesting. So Oscar, he's trying to help her a little bit by maybe narrowing her search, making it a little bit easier to find something by not looking at everything. Let's look at the things that you're most interested in, or as he says, do you know what genre you want? That's a good word. Genre. Basically, it means a type of entertainment, a type of writing, a type of music, a type of movie. Movie genres like horror, action, comedy, romance. Things like that. So, what style of movie? What kind of movie do you feel like watching now? Yes, I'm in the mood for a good horror movie with lots of ghosts. Oh, okay. She likes to watch horror movies, which I mentioned as a genre of movie is quite popular. Horror, or this adjective, just means scary. A scary movie. Monsters, vampires, people going e e e with. Big knives chasing people around and <laughs> killing them in a sort of over-the-top kind of silly way. They can be scary, but people are strange. People like to watch movies where they feel scared by monsters and crazy killers and stuff like that. Don't watch them before bed if you get nightmares. But yes, horror movies are quite popular, especially maybe in Asia movies with ghosts. And I know that in Taiwan they have made some really good horror movies. And also Thailand. With ghosts in Thailand too, and Korea and Japan, Japan too. Yeah, the girl climbing out of the TV. That's a classic horror movie, and she's a ghost. I think. I think she's a ghost. I think she's a ghost. Yes. What is a ghost? Oh, it's like, oh, really? Honestly, there's many different interpretations, but you know, something scary that comes from the other realm. Not a human,、nope. but maybe they want something, and so they've come into this world. And maybe sometimes they're scaring people. Sometimes they're just saying hi. Sometimes they look really scary because they maybe been hit by a car, and so they still look like that. And it's like trouble from the other side, most likely. Now you might meet a friendly ghost. There's a ghost named Casper. He's <laughs> called Casper the Friendly Ghost. Yeah, he's not in horror movies. He's、though. not in horror. He's, he's not scaring、too. anybody. No, <laughs> yeah, ghosts are usually the spirit or soul or something of a dead person, and for some reason they won't go to heaven and just leave you alone. They're here on earth, haunting you, bringing trouble to you. That's right. So beware of ghosts during our quick break. Don't look over your shoulder while. You're looking in a mirror, things like that, and we'll see you back in just a second. Okay, you can narrow your hunt down with secret codes. Cool. Can you show me how to do that? Sure, but we'll need your computer. In the meantime, do you know how to take films and shows off the playlist? Of course, that's very simple to do. Great. Please show me now. So Emmy is in the mood for a horror movie tonight. That is the genre or style of movie she's looking for, but I guess she just can't find one. On the menu of the streaming service now, Oscar he has a really good tip for her, a really good idea, a little secret she can use. He says, "Okay, you want to see a horror movie? You're looking for that genre. You can narrow your hunt down with secret codes. Instead of looking through all the action and comedy and romance and this, I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. I don't want to watch that. Instead of seeing all those things on the menu." You can narrow down your hunt with secret codes. She's on the hunt for a good movie, and when you hunt, you can use it as a verb. Or when you are on a hunt, you are looking for something that is hard to find. Really, hunting is when you go out with a weapon. It could be a bow and arrow or a gun, and you're trying to find and kill an animal. 
to hopefully bring home and eat. Although some people hunt just for fun. I mean, it's fun for maybe the people with the gun, not so fun for the animal. But of course, before farms and supermarkets, people used to hunt for meat. They used to、deer. hunt for food, deer, whatever was around. But today. In the modern world, in cities where people don't kill deer or bears for food, we hunt for something that's hard to find. If you're looking for something really special for dinner, you have to find I don't know turkey、red、to make red onions. Red onions. You're on the hunt for it. You go to this store. You go to that store. You don't go home until you find that hard thing to find. I always find I have to hunt. For good Christmas presents for my mom, because she always says, "Oh, I don't care what you get me, I'm fine." So I have to look really hard for something that's hard to find. <laughs> And you know, when you're hunting for something, sometimes it can feel like there's like, is there a secret method? Is there a、mm. secret gift? Is there a secret ingredient?、Mm. Something that's secret means no one knows about it, or very few people know about it. Secret spot, secret restaurant, secret beach—all、oh, those places where no one knows about. Secret sales. I love those. You didn't know, but you could get everything for cheap. And so, because no one knows about it, or few people know about it, it's a secret. Maybe、mm. it's a secret tip. Okay, so apparently there are secret codes for streaming services. The problem is the codes are secret, so many people don't know about them or don't know what they are. Emmy says, "Cool.、Mm, can you show me how to do that?" Yeah, that's a no. Great idea. Secret codes、uh -huh. that can help me narrow down my hunt. That's fantastic. Well, Oscar, he knows the secret. We can also use secret as a noun. He knows these secret codes. But there's a little problem, not a big problem. He says, "Sure, but we'll need your computer." So you might have to, you know, go to the menu, find a special place to put in the code. It might be harder if you're watching on your phone or on a TV. You need the computer anyway. So get your computer working. In the meantime, he says, while you're doing that, do you know how to take films and shows off the playlist? So there's ways you can also get films and shows off the playlist. Before we leave that, I looked up some secret codes for everyone. Do you want to know some? Seven seven two three two. What's that? That's the secret code for Asian action and adventure movies. Really? Mm-hmm. One zero one one eight. That is the Netflix secret code for superhero and comic book movies. What? Yes, indeed.、You、so type those in, and you will be able to,、uh, you know, find movies a little faster. As long as you like that kind of that movie, that genre.、Oh. If you like another genre, get your own secret code.、Oh, amazing. Yes. Wow. Emmy says, "Of course, that's very simple to do."、Hmm. Let's see if Oscar knows as much as you. All right. So it's easy also to get rid of. Movies from the playlist, maybe things you're not interested yeah, in. Yeah, remove from list. Yeah, you know, you don't like romance or comedy, so I don't want to see those. Don't waste my time. I won't watch them. Anyways, Oscar is happy to know this little secret as well. He says, "Great, cool, awesome, fantastic. Please show me now." So he will learn her secret. She will learn his secret, and soon they will be all powerful streaming service. Watching people, incredible. It will save them a lot of time as they get wonderful entertainment from their streaming services. And we wish you guys all the best and the most wonderful entertainment on your streaming service or wherever you get your fun. Take care of yourselves and each other and your internet, and we'll see you back here soon. Until then, bye bye. Emmy and Oscar are sharing tips. I'm searching and searching, but I can't find a film to watch. Do you know what genre you want? Yes, I'm in the mood for a good horror movie with lots of ghosts. Okay, you can narrow your hunt down with secret codes. Cool. Can you show me how to do that? Sure, but we'll need your computer. 
In the meantime, do you know how to take films and shows off the playlist? Of course, that's very simple to do. Great, please show me now. Hello, I'm Tina. We're going to look at this key word. The first word is search. Search, 动词，搜寻。I need to search for information on the internet. 我需要在网络上搜寻资料。下一个单词 ，ghost. Ghost, 名词，鬼魂。Do you believe in ghosts? 你相信有鬼吗？下一个单词 ，hunt. Hunt, 名词，寻找。The children went on a treasure hunt in the backyard. 孩子们在后院进行寻宝游戏。最后一个单词 secret, secret 形容词，秘密的，保密的。What I just told you is secret information. 我刚刚告诉你的是机密资讯。接着我们来看重点问法。第一个 ，in the mood for something， 想要有意做某件事。Mood 指的是心情、情绪的意思。我们来看看这个例句 ：I'm not in the mood for a picnic right now. 我现在没心情野餐。下一个文法 ：Narrow something down， 缩减某事物，也可以说 narrow down something。Narrow 在这里是动词，意思是缩减什么的数量或范围。我们来看看这个例句 ：We have to narrow down. Our search for a new apartment. 我们必须缩小寻找新公寓的范围。最后一个文法 ，take A off B， 把 A 从 B 移除，这是一个固定用法。注意 off 的位置不可以变换。我们来看看这个例句 ：I couldn't take the sticker off the book cover. 我无法将书本封面上的贴纸移除。Sticker 指的是贴纸。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见，拜拜。Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. Hi everyone, I'm Steven. Hi, I'm Kiki. I'm Carolyn. We're gonna play Guess the Bear. So let's get started. This first one is a verb. First sentence: The careless boy bared his toy. Number two: Let's put the letter somewhere safe. I don't want to bear it. Break. Share. The careless boy bared his toy. Let's put the letter somewhere safe. I don't want to bear it. Break it? Did you say that? Yes.、Yeah. Oh, drop. Oh. Some something along those lines.、Uh. I don't want to bear it. Let's put the letter somewhere safe. Lose. Yes. There you go. Good job. Good job. Okay. Yeah. So the first sentence was the careless boy lost his toy, and number two, let's put the letter somewhere safe. I don't want to lose it. Okay. This one is a noun. Number one, eating too much fried food can be bad for your bear. Number two, exercising always makes my bear beat really fast. Heart. Okay, Kiki got that first. Okay, so it was heart. Number one, eating too much fried food can be bad for your heart. Or exercising always makes my heart beat really fast. Okay, so we got one on each side. Let's see、okay. who's gonna win this、I、game.、Remember. This is a phrase. Two words. Number one, even though they're twins, Bill and Tim are very bear bear each other. Number two, the movie ended up being bear bear. The book it's based on. Different, Different from. Kiki said it like half a second faster than you, but you both are winners in my heart. But literally, like Kiki's the winner. Yay! It's okay. It's okay. Good try. Good try. I can do. <laughs> okay. Um. So Kiki,、oh. two points. So can、oh. you read the? What's the sentence? Even though different from. Okay. Number one. Even though they're twins. Bill and Tim are very different from each other, and number two, the movie ended up being 
different from the book oh. it's based on. Right. Yes. Good job, guys. Good job. I wouldn't have gotten that. <laughs>